Persuite opened support for WebSocket several versions back, and these can be seen in the proxy just like other traffic. To test, we have the tool at wss-websocket.net, and this tool is capable of connecting to WebSocket servers and sending test data and disconnecting. And if you don't choose a WebSocket server of your own, they have a test server set up. So it makes a good way to check out this functionality. We have Burp Suite running, and we have Firefox using Burp as a proxy. Now we can do the test. I'm going to visit the page. This will be over normal HTTP. And now that I've reached the page, I'm going to connect to the WebSocket server. We'll send a ping message. We'll send some text. And we'll disconnect. Now let's go over to Burp Suite. So under the HTTP history tab, we'll see the HTTP request where I've visited the WebSocket test page to begin with. And in addition to that request here, we'll also see the switch from the HTTP connection to the WebSocket connection. So here you'll see us trying to get the WebSocket test tool. And the browser wants to upgrade to a WebSocket. And the server responded and said, no problem. So we have a one-on-one -on -one switching protocols and we're upgrading to the WebSocket. Now you notice in Burp, there's a WebSocket history tab. Click on that tab and you'll see the history for the WebSockets. In here, we can click on each individual WebSocket and we're able to look at the traffic that was sent and it tells you which direction it was going in since this is a bi-directional protocol. In this case, these bytes were sent to the server, and these bytes are, were sent back to the client. And back and forth it goes until we see the entire conversation. And then eventually, there's the disconnect request and the acknowledgement. So WebSockets, unlike HTTP, does not have to work in exact pairs. There's not a single response for every request necessarily, but often you will see some basic connection and acknowledgement messages or send and acknowledgement messages. But since WebSockets is bi-directional and can, the data can be pushed in either direction, there won't be that one-to-one -one relationship that we're used to with HTTP requests and responses. So now you can start to use Burp Suite to look at WebSocket traffic and inspect and proxy that traffic the same as you would HTTP traffic.